Hi everyone, this is Larry, Jeep and Mo. And today's video, we're going to take our 20 ton hydraulic press that we got from the Harper Freight. And that coupled with some material we bought, we're going to build a bending fixture for some future Jeep products that we want to make. All right, so if you have a welder and a way to cut steel, it can be cut off wheel, can be saw, can be plasma. They all work. And you have a welder, or you have someone that has a welder, easy project to make, fraction of the cost that you can buy this assembly elsewhere. So let's check it out. Now I still own this old seat of solid work, so it allows me to design, which is kind of nice. So it's just going to be a basic uh, bending setup, and we're going to take this all out of raw stock. And we're going to do a lot of cutting on this. We've cut all this material for the bending fixture, right? A lot of this is half inch, just hot rolled steel. Okay, so we have to lay out all these bolt holes. So what will happen is when this thing comes on the bend, instead of one solid bar, there'll be these two rails with the other piece in the center. And we'll have bolts in the one end. That way you can pull this out. What we'll do is after we build this, we'll cut it in sections, and that way when it goes in, you can bend short sections, long sections. In case you got to bend around something, you can put a shorter or a longer finger in. So we got to drill, we got to lay out, drill, and tap all these uh, three and sixteen tapped holes. So an inch and a half in, and then every inch and a half. You want your bolts going fairly square. You don't want them all angled and everything. I'll show you how to make a tapping block so that when you go to tap this hole, it stays square to the base. So we're going to tap a 3 8 16 hole. So I'm going to drill a hole that's 3 8 If I need to, I can go a little bit over. And that'll be the guide for the tap. Okay, so I just drilled a three inch hole. The tap just fits inside of it. Now the reason why I didn't pre-drill the hole, I needed this to walk just a little bit. Now I could always go to a letter size drill, a 377, which will work as well. But I just drilled it straight with the body size, knowing it's gonna walk a little bit. All right, so let's see its holes tapped. <clears throat> okay, so we take our little block we made. Tap goes in the center of it. And that's what will guide into the hole. A little tapping fluid. Okay, so you get it started with that block. And then you just go ahead and just crank it in. Now, a little bit in, back up, break that chip. And that's what keeps you from breaking the taps. Once it's in, then you can just go to town. And then you'll end up with the tapped hole, in this case for 3816. So I need to get the rest of these tapped, and we'll start getting everything prepped and ready for weld. Now as normal, anytime you plasma cut, you got to slag. Just take your chipping hammer, knock all this off, and we'll finish you outside with the flap disc. I'm 
most of my welding on this plate is going to be in the center. So when you're welding on plate, or even on Wrecker steel, this black, it's called mill scale. So if you're welding on it, it takes a lot of heat to punch through that. When you're uh, welding, it's like just like paint or anything else, 90% of your work is all in the prep time. Okay, so this thing designed with a half inch offset from the edge. So I just have some half inch parallels. You can measure it, it'll do the same thing. Just get it, get it centered up. Okay, so I got these metal shims in here. I'm going to set this inside there. 
pass the shims out towards the ends because that way I can want to make sure that this is set in. There's a radius on the tip of the this piece. So I can't machine the V on the bottom of this piece. So for right now, I'm going to let this piece be in at a 90. You can see how this sits down in the shoe. That'll form the 90. Then we'll weld. All right, so that's our bending brake for a 20 ton hydraulic jack. We got that from Harbor Freight. They got it on sale for $159 got about a hundred and forty dollars in materials in it so for around three three hundred fifty bucks catch it right now there's plenty of other nice kits out there if you don't want to do a little engineering yourself those kits are anywhere from five hundred to a thousand dollars phase two of this I'm gonna make a smaller die lower shoe to go in this and segmented fingers so I can bend and bend but that's a phase two of it so you if you got a welder a little bit of time a way to cut steel you don't have to have a plasma cutter you can use a cutoff wheel on a six inch grinder this is just as easy so with that another edition of jeeping mo part of our fab series we'll be getting back into more jeep stuff here soon but some of the builds I want to do for a Jeep require some of these tools. So until then, we'll see you at the next adventure. This is Jeeping Mo.